DLS is go for orbiter, APU start. DLT, OTC, perform APU start. OTC, DLT, OTC, start and work. CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Heater reconfigures and work. Lock strain back started right on time. Engines now being steered through their final checks. Final steering check before main engine ignition. Flight controls have also been checked out and are go for launch. Main engines are in the start position. DLS is go for ET LO2 pressurization. DLP OTC clear caution and warning memory verify no unexpected errors. T-minus two minutes, two minutes to launch at Atlantis with the Columbus Laboratory. DLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Three main engines of Atlantis reported ready to start. T minus one minute. One minute and counting. T minus forty five seconds. T minus 31 seconds. The handoff to Atlantis is on board. Computers has occurred. Fifteen seconds. Plane safety systems are. Sound suppression system water activated. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Go for main start. Seven. Six. Main engine ignition. Four. Three. Yeah. 
and lift off of Spatial Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a voyage of science to the space station. Houston now controlling. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Columbus weighs anchor from its port in Florida. Atlantis on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Saturday. 28 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance, going in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Atlantis three miles in altitude, seven miles downrange. 50 seconds into the flight, the engines beginning to throttle back up, standing by for that call from Capcom Jim Dutton. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Atlantis copies, go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Frick, joined on the flight deck by pilot Alan Poindexter, Rex Walheim, and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid deck are Stan Love and Hans Schlegel and Leopold Ayarts of the European Space Agency. Ayarts hitching a ride to his new home on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already 15 miles in altitude, 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 2,000 miles an hour. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three auxiliary power units, all functioning normally. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms good solid rocket booster separation, good staging. Guidance now converging. The onboard computers commanding the main engines to swivel, aiming Atlantis for its precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. And the propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited, providing Atlantis with that extra burst of power for the next two minutes, assisting the shuttle and its crew on their climb to orbit. Two minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis 41 miles in altitude. Atlantis copies two engine tower. That call from uh, Capcom Jim Dutton to the crew indicating that if we lost one main engine right now, we would have enough energy to reach our trans-oceanic abort sites, but we have three solid main engines along with the auxiliary power units and the fuel cells. At the three minute mark into the flight, Atlantis 47 miles in altitude, 87 miles downrange, traveling almost 4,000 miles an hour. Atlantis flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the fuel tank. Coming up shortly on the point of negative return, where the shuttle will be in the event of an engine failure, but we're flying on three solid main engines right now. Three minutes, 40 seconds into the flight, Atlantis 127 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, approaching the 5,000 mile an hour mark. Atlantis, negative return. And the environmental systems officer in mission control reports a good flash evaporator system providing cooling for Atlantis's avionics until the time we open the payload bay doors an hour and a half into the flight. Four minutes, 15 seconds, 62 miles in altitude, 176 miles downrange, traveling 5,500 miles an hour. Atlantis flying straight as an arrow, speeding toward a date with the International Space Station on Saturday.